What's going on, buddy? My name is Elprince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Hey, you, for you guys, I got another Nukes Top 5. This is the one video I was talking about in my previous Nukes Top 5 video, the one I had not caught up to, and around this time week, time of the week that I was getting to record this, I'm recording this on the 22nd, by the way, just so you guys know. But the day I was go this week when I was going to record some earlier videos, he decided, Nukes Top 5 uploaded another video so i gotta react to that as well but i already have it in the playlist ready to go ready to react to but today we're not gonna be reacting to that one today we're gonna be reacting to the one that came out before that so this is top five scary ghost videos that make your make you cry for daddy i almost read that wrong because <laughs> i thought it said something else earlier when i read it the first time but we're gonna get back into ghosts and hopefully there's no jester in this video otherwise i'm gonna lose my mind and if you see me grabbing a cat, throwing her onto the bed, that's just Taz. She does not know how to really... Never mind, she's going to sit down. <laughs> she's been bothering me for the last three hours since I've been home. And now you go to sit down? <laughs> you spaz monkey? <laughs> she does not know how to sit down, this cat. But thankfully, she's going to sit down right now so I can do this recording. You nut job. Anyway, we're going to start this video in three, two, one go here we go and i got my water as always i don't i don't think this is ever going to be a video where the i don't go without board. water popular paranormal live streamer ricky velasquez and his wife liz traveled to an allegedly I've never heard of these two. somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in mexico now apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named hernandez Apparently, some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home, and most of the family, including many women and children, lost their lives. Now, whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house to pay their respects to this day. That's how you know it was really bad for whatever happened. So after exploring the downstairs, Ricky and Liz head up to the second floor, and that's when they begin to experience something and makes their blood run cold. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube. And as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. <gasps> okay. Nice cat calendar. Sound of running water. Hola. Don't say anything to it. That is close by. The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor. Banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. No, man, I'm so now, I didn't hear that part. to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. Why does nobody ever listen to me? I'm not even going to repeat the joke I've said in the last couple of videos. And as you might have guessed, it did not go well. During the Ouija board session, the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house. Get comfortable. Then something happens that absolutely scares the shit out of them. Estás aquí con nosotros? If he curses, you know, you know it's good. Okay. While using the Ouija board, Liz asks, Are you here with us? To which a terrifying little voice replies, Yes. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. 
So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. The couple has had enough and they just run out of there as fast as they can. Now, keep in mind that all of this was broadcast live on YouTube. So whether it's real or not, it would have been much harder to fake. But whether it is real or fake, the footage is definitely very creepy. What? Never mess with a Ouija board. For those of you that are planning to get into the paranormal, don't do it. Save yourself the trouble. If you want to take a look at the video for yourself, you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Ricky Velasquez. Get me out of here. A group of friends are having a great time in Torreon, Mexico, when they decide to go on a very popular tourist attraction, the Cristo de la Noas cable car ride. The cable car provides beautiful scenery of the city as it transports tourists up the mountain. Okay, question. Is this about paranormal or is this the cable car failing while strong in the middle of the sky? On and through the streets of Torreon. With such a spectacular bird's eye view of the city, the group of friends can't help but take a video to capture the moment. But what happens on this particular ride is very disturbing. There's a cat. What sounds like the voice of a little girl can be heard screaming in terror and the group has no idea where the voice is coming from. Now, after the video was shared on Facebook, many shocked viewers believe they hear the girl say, quote, get me out of here. I feel alone. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So if you do, please let me know what you think the girl is saying down in the comments. Did the group accidentally capture a paranormal event on camera? You decide. <laughs> we need scary videos. So, okay, so it wasn't the cable car breaking down in the middle, suspending in the sky. So, I was wrong on that. <laughs> That's I was fully expecting that because he's. I think he's done one video that wasn't particularly about ghosts but it involved a horrifying situation and yes i actually i do remember i don't remember what video was from them it was about the russian grandfather and his grandchild and those delinquent kids that threw a stone at them from the um, top of an apartment building i think that was the only video that included a clip that, that wasn't in paranormal on his channel but i could be very wrong and that video was from a long, a couple of years ago, I think. So, just reason why I said it earlier, why I thought it probably wasn't going to be paranormal, because it's a cable car they suspend in the air. If you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Seven days. Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by a desperate landlord of an allegedly haunted apartment. The landlord claims that just over 10 years ago, a family of three rented the apartment. One night, the father had an unexplained psychotic break and took the lives of his wife and child inside the apartment. Their bodies were found hidden in the closet. The father went on the run and he was never found. Since the horrific incident, the owner finds it impossible to get tenants to stay in the apartment for more than a week. He says that within seven days- um, Well, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't stay in, in a, be living in a house that was, had somebody viciously murdered, their spirits would be lingering around looking for their killer and blame the person whoever's living there. Of them abruptly decide to just move out. So the landlord challenges the Omagatoki team to live in the apartment for one week to figure out just what it is about the property that causes tenants to refuse to stay. Investigator Tomo accepts the challenge and decides to live in the apartment alone for seven days. 
A static camera records Tomo as he sleeps and spends time in the bedroom, where the tragedy took place 10 years earlier. This is her day. Hero was here just a minute ago. I don't feel anything strange when Hero was here. Now I'm alone and I've gotten a comfortable feeling now. Also that closet is open. There's nothing around. This apartment is... It's out here in the mountains. I'm wondering what if something happened to me. What would I do? If nothing happens, this video would have been very interesting, but I hope that nothing happens and I'm still okay it's seven days. There's nothing to do and I'm a bit tired, so I'll be go to bed on the first night, on the first day. I can't get comfortable right the now. First two nights and nothing. I can't get comfortable in my chair. I'm sorry for moving around a lot. At around midnight, Tomo notices something very odd in the bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. I can't get comfortable in my chair right now. Doesn't that look like someone's shadow? So I went outside and had a look. There's no one there. She's can you stop with the sounds? The sounds. Does it look like somebody's out there? I think it just moved. A strange shadow can be seen in the window. But Tomo can't find anything outside that could be casting the unexplained shadow. Then the next night, night number four, and things get a bit weirder. I was going to the toilet. I noticed on the way, the bathroom, there was a shadow in the window. Like, there's nothing there anymore. Nothing there. I'm sure there was a shadow there last night. What was it? Is it somewhere else now? The shadow from the night before has now disappeared as mysteriously as it came. But when Tomo goes to bed, he's disturbed several times while trying to sleep, as he keeps getting the eerie feeling that someone is in the room with him, standing near the closet. Cut to nights five and six. And now, Tomo starts to complain that he hasn't been able to sleep as he keeps hearing unexplained footsteps and even more terrifying, the unexplained mumbling voice of a woman. Now, it's like I said, they stuck around. It's day seven. Tomo is exhausted and considers quitting the seven day challenge and just going home even though there's only one day left. Eventually, he decides that he can tough it out and stays for the seventh and final night. The investigator wakes up the next day refreshed and happy. He says he finally got a great night's sleep in the apartment. At the restaurant in Anchi Prefection, I just asked Tomo to come here. You said nothing happened last night? Did nothing happened last night, are you sure? Didn't you have a dream, a nightmare, or anything like that? No. No, I slept very well. It was the best sleep during the challenge. I slept all night. So you sure that nothing happened to you? Are you sure? Yes, I am. Nothing at all. No nightmare. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. All right. And this is when things get weird. Why? While Tomo is at work, Hiro goes through the footage that was recorded on the final night of the challenge. What he finds leaves him speechless. Because something did happen that night. Something really? that Tomo has no recollection of. Something truly chilling. Around 2 a.m. on the last night. I'm gonna get up slowly.
Where is he going? Is this in front of the closet? What is he doing? Fast forwarding for some reason the auto was missing during this part. 30 minutes later. Oh, is this a thump? Is he crying? Uh, the hell. Alright, this is just creepy on it, you know, telling if it's a hoax. The clip just keeps repeating itself. She is. There's the thumbnail. At this point, the camera explicitly cuts out for a little while. After the video comes back, it shows that Tomo is sleeping in as if nothing has happened. In the video, Tomo seems completely out of it as he grabs the camera and sits in front of the closet. The video footage begins to glitch as Tomo creepily smiles at the camera and then inexplicably seems to just start crying. The footage begins to glitch and loop, repeating over and over as the terrifying face of a woman seems to peer out at the camera from inside the closet. Tomo says he doesn't remember anything about the incident and until seeing the bizarre footage, he believed that he had slept soundly throughout the night. So could it be that the investigator captured the spirit of the woman whose life was taken inside the bedroom? And the possessed him? body was found inside the same closet? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation and many more scary videos over on the YouTube channel, Omegatoki Film. I mean, that alone is terrifying, the creepy smiles itself. itself. Even though it, it could be a hoax itself, I don't know why I say host like, host like that, but either way, it is creepy regardless, even if it's fake. It is creepy. I'll give you props for that. Thumbs up from me. <laughs> Into the woods. Oh God. So it's another week and another mysterious Matthew video. Matthew Horton. This time I was emailed about a very old video without a source <sighs> that's been making the rounds on social media. In the video, a group of friends are camping in the middle of the forest. Late into the night, they start to hear strange sounds coming from the dark woods. Now in what is probably a terrible decision, they decide to grab their flashlights and go to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. As they search for the source of the creepy sounds, the group spots what appears to be some kind of creature with glowing eyes hiding in the tree line. Shocked online viewers have pointed out that even with the potato quality old video, you can still see that the strange unidentified creature actually appears to blink before it runs off into the woods, adding just a tiny bit more credibility to this very odd footage. Hmm. But without a source, once again, we'll never know the full story on this old video. So is it real or just an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. That one doesn't really scare me. All that reminds me of is Resident Evil 4, the main guy who runs, a, who is, um, Wearing that cloak throughout the game. Well, what was it a cloak? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played Resident Evil. I'm talking about the original one, by the way. Or you could think of uh, Malin Malakoff from Jedi Fallen Order 
when he's just walking around in the club. That's what, that's what my immediate thought thoughts go to. Getting your foot in the door. Now, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that I've featured a ton of Saudi door-kicking ghost hunters. Yes. These include Adventure Allah, Yaza 1200, Abdullah Al Ambari, and the guy we'll be focusing on in this video, Adventure Jasim. Now, if you're not familiar with the Saudi ghost hunters I've featured, then here's a quick tutorial. <laughs> Number one, they love hunting gins. Ya Jin! Ya Jin! Number two. The Jins often seem to throw large objects at them. Jesus, alright. <laughs> Usually always seems to happen. <laughs> Is that the face? Nope, that's the boiler video. I remember that video. <laughs> that was from a while ago. And finally, number three, and they're always kicking doors. All Saudi ghost hunters love kicking down spooky doors all the time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, recently, I was sent a video that reveals something new and absolutely terrifying. What? Serious mode. What? What's, what is it about that room? That sounds like running. Oh. <laughs> Kick fight. Kick fight. Kick it. Fucker. <laughs> he knocked on the whole door. That just made me excited. That didn't make me scared. That's right. Apparently, these spooky doors are fighting back now. <laughs> so, just a heads up. If you're a door kicking Saudi ghost hunter, or you just aspire to be one, you be careful out there. Kick it. Kick it. Or, alright, hit the handle too. That works. <laughs> oh, that door came off. If you're new to the channel, honestly, my videos come out at weird times. So subscribe and hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials, and hopefully I'll see you back here for the next video. And that will be definitely next time. Screw that jester. Thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so that last one just made me laugh. That I honestly, I didn't. I almost put up hands this time around, and it's it takes a lot for me to throw hands in these videos. But this one, I didn't throw hands. I almost threw hands this time around. That last part just made me just made me laugh. It's been a while since I've seen a Saudi Arabian uh, ghost hunter just. Duking it out with ghosts. R r sorry, gins. My bad. <laughs> so, nice change of pace. It's been a while since I've seen that. But, it, <laughs> it just makes me laugh at all. It doesn't even make me scared that the door started fighting back. But, <laughs> that last the last one before that with, I think his name was Tomo? No, it wasn't Tom. I forgot his name already. That one was definitely the weirdest ghost video I've seen in a while. It's also been 
a couple of weeks since I recorded any ghost videos. The last one, a re couple I recorded was right before we went to go visit Mitch in Connecticut. And that was at the beginning of the month. And this video was recorded on the 22nd of June. So it's been, yeah, definitely a couple of weeks since I've recorded any videos related to the paranormal. So I will be getting back on that. And I got a lot more stuff to record, so keep an eye out for those. And for those of you that have made it this far into the video, I just want to say this out right every video i record does not come out in order of a, of when they were made it doesn't it doesn't happen here at least anymore it doesn't it stop i stopped that train a few months ago so now everything is just recorded most of them are recorded in one day at least four videos or so i record in one day sometimes i just do one depending on um video itself like today i'm only recording this one video and i'll record the next uh nukes top five video in a future video that will be coming out in the future or it might already be coming out the same week after this and same thing with my jenna survivor videos those videos are gonna be very sporadic because of all the uh issues with the game and since by the time I'm making up this video another update came out so i'm gonna be testing that out probably this weekend and I think that's really it in terms of what I have to say between scary ghost videos, my upload schedule, and complications with certain things I've been having with in terms of uh, video game recording. Because I do have a couple other games up that I want to record, but first I want to finish Jedi Survivor first. And with that being said, guys, I think that's it I need to talk about. So I will be seeing you guys in the next reaction video. Bye.